Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to take a look at how we can crop and blur objects using Ultralytic Yolovi 8. So say that we're doing inference, we're detecting different objects in our images, then we get our bounding boxes, then we can crop out those bounding boxes from our image and blur them out. Let's say that we want to create a system where we want to blur out people. So a cool use case for that could be if we have a security camera and we're detecting people in malls, for example, then we can crop out the individual persons that we're detecting and blur them out. So if we just jump straight into the Autolytics documentation, go inside the guides tab, then we can go in and see all the real world projects and also the guides that we have. We pretty much have videos covering every single one of them in here. So definitely go in and check them out or they will be added over time. So right now inside the real world projects, we can see we have object counting, object cropping, and also object blurring. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can crop out images. So once we have a detection, how can we take a bounding box and crop that out? And the main idea behind that is that we get our bounding box from our object detection model or our segmentation model. Then we can take the two corners, so the top left corner and the bottom right corner. And then we can basically just use NumPy or whatever tool to go in and slice the original image because we get the coordinates. And then we're just going to take all the values inside of that bounding box and crop it out from the original image. And we then have a new image. So if we just scroll a bit further down, we can read about like what are the advantages of object cropping, but also see the visuals. So here we have an airport luggage system where we have these suitcases running on a conveyor belt. Then we do object detection, detecting each individual suitcase and cropping each of them out. Then we just get these images here. So it will just create new images based on the bounding boxes inside each of them. Then we can use that system for identification, verification. Like if you want to inspect different kind of like suitcases could also be if we want to crop out persons, do identification, recognition, and all those things could also be if we're detecting labels in a production line and we want to do some verification or visual inspection on top of that. That is some pretty cool use cases. We can go down here and see an example with Yolvi 8 and we're going to run that in just a second inside a custom Python script so you guys can see how it works. We have some arguments for the model.predict function, it's basically the exact same ones as we have in all the other videos. So we won't really dive into details with that, but we can specify the source and image, PLL, YouTube video, video file directly throw in our webcam as well with a zero index set the confidence score intersection over union and so on let's just take a look at the object blurring before we jump into the code it is the exact same structure but now we just blur what's inside that bounding box instead of cropping it out we can also crop it out and blur it at the same time basically just the operation that we're doing so we see the advantages we can see an example here and again all the arguments down here so these are some pretty cool real world projects that you can use for a ton of different applications as i mentioned in the introduction so let's not just jump straight into the python script and see how we can do object cropping and also object blurring so right now we're just going to start with cropping we're just going to do detections on an mp4 file so just a video file and then we're going to crop out each individual object that we're detecting. So right now, this is the video that we're going to throw through it. So the example that we saw inside the documentation as well. So we just have this conveyor belt running with these suitcases at an airport. So right now, I'm just going to copy the relative path. Then we can just replace the path from the example and we don't need to do anything else. It's pretty much it. We can choose which of the models that we want to use, small, nano, medium, and so on. We should be able to get away with the nano model. Let's scroll a bit further down. So first of all, we create an instance of our model. We get the class names. We set up a video capture and also a video writer. So we can write out a video. Then we're going to open up our capture inside of a while loop. Then we read in an image from our capture and we store it in this im zero variable. Then we can call a predict method directly on top of that. We get a result back and we can extract the results directly with our bounding boxes. We can both extract the boxes and also the classes. We could also go in and extract the confidence score and so on directly from this results variable. If boxes is not none, would mean that we act like have detections. We're going to go in and create this annotator. We have our box label. Inside a bounding box, we're just going to do cropping. And so as I mentioned in the start, we can just do cropping or slicing directly with NumPy. So we just have the indexes from the top left corner and the bottom right corner of our bounding boxes. Then we have our cropped object and we're just going to write it to a folder so we can store the results. We show the image and if we hit Q on a keyboard at any time, we're going to terminate the program and all the images will be stored inside of our directory. So right now, let's just going to run this 
Python script and we should be good to go. So I'm going to open up a new terminal. There we go. We call Python cropping. And that's it. It's going to download the model automatically. If you're running this for the first time, open up the video capture and save all the detections, crop them out, and then we can see them inside of our working directory. So right now we can see that our program is running and we're extracting and detecting all these suitcases running on the conveyor belt. And for each individual bounding box, we're going to put them out, write them to the image folder. That's also why it's a bit laggy here because we're writing every single bounding box or every single prediction. So that's pretty cool. Let's just terminate the program here and let's go in and take a look at the folder. So right now we can go over, we get our Autolytics crop folder. I can just open it here in Finder. So if you just take a look at the output folder, we can see all the individual detections. So it's basically just the bounding boxes that we have cropped out. We can see all the detections. I can just open up one of them in here. We can see the suitcase. Another one here is just all the predictions. So right now we can then do cropping. We can also go in and do blurring. It is the exact same thing. I'm just going to make this a bit smaller. It's the exact same thing. We specify the same video file rest is pretty much the same right now we just go down and extract our individual detections and then we're going to blur out every single pixel within that prediction or bounding box and that's pretty much it then we can go in and extract it again and we can set the blurred image equal to the original image so we can do the cropping inside of this original image we can specify the region that we want to basically just replace with our blurred out object and by doing that we can crop out the object blur it put it back again and then we basically just blur out the detections so that could be if people are walking around but right now let's just go in and act like just do it for our suitcases i'm just going to run the python script directly so python blurring it's really easy to use just take the examples from autolytics documentation and we are up and running so right now we can see that we have the blurring we can also specify how much blurring effect that we want of course we need to have the detections we're only running with a nano model now so we could increase it to run better with a small, medium, large, XLOT model and so on. So you need to choose that depending on your application and also problem that you want to solve. So right now we're just blowing out every single detection. This is really useful if you have like security cameras where you're detecting different persons and so on. So this is pretty cool. Definitely go ahead and check it out. This can be used in a lot of real world use cases and applications as we have already talked about. So thank you a lot again for watching this video here and I hope to see you in one of the upcoming ones. Until then, Happy learning.